camera nearly fell over then. Hi, it's me, Jan, Urban Gypsy Crochet. Uh, sorry I'm a bit late tonight, but uh, it's one of those days, you know how you get them. Just one of those days. Um, I got up extremely late. I don't know whether it was because of... I actually finished the, the live video like at midnight, so I don't know why I was so tired, but I just was. Uh, anyway, here I am. <laughs> Some people have been saying that they didn't get the notification that I was doing a live video. Um, if you are subscribed to me, you need to press the little bell sign at the side, and that means you get notified whenever uh, there's a video going up or there's a video gone up. Uh, in actual fact, something happened last night and uh, I couldn't use the channel that I'd set up because it, I kept asking me these strange questions. And I asked um, Zoe, who is my <laughs> oracle with all things, um, oh, whatever you want to call it, technical. And she didn't really know. So hopefully we'll sort out the answer to that question. Why I couldn't use that channel and I had to start another channel up. And then I started another channel up and then my internet failed. So I had to start up yet another channel. So it was a little confusing last night, I must admit. But if you are subscribed to me, uh, please press that little bell sign. Because that means that you get notified. Yeah. So you don't miss. Unless you forget, of course. <laughs> which happens to us all, including me. I mean, I almost forgot to do the video, the video today. Uh, but I thought, oh, oh, better do it, better do it. So here I am, as I said, better late than never. Today just went past me in a blur, so I haven't done any crochet at all, or anything constructive, really, at all. Um, apart from having a shower. <laughs> That's about the only thing that happened today. Um, the only thing I've got to show you is a crochet magazine which I don't know why I buy because it's never anything in it for me. There could be something in it for you, uh, especially if you like Amiga Roomies and things like that. It's called Crochet Now. Excuse me, having an itch. And this is um, issue... Issue what? Issue 26. What came with it was some luxury bamboo hooks, which are very nice if you don't have any. Uh, I, I do. There's three millimetre, four, five and six millimetre in there. So they will be finding their way to somebody who wants them. Uh, then this is Mr. Men and Little Miss. And it's a graph. Uh, it appears to be for a blanket. Make your very own blanket. So that is something else I won't be using. Hope you can see it all. I realised last time I made a video doing this, I was over here somewhere and nobody saw it. So I'm just hoping by tilting it forward that you will see it. When it's late at night, you see, I have the, um, the big square diffuser light on. Otherwise you wouldn't see me at all, yeah. Right, this is the front cover of Crochet now. That's what it looks like. So I thought, hmm, nice scarf. As you, you know, you can't really see them because they're all wrapped up in plastic, so you can't thumb through them in the uh, in the shop here. Yeah. But it's also very annoying when it means you're buying something that you don't really want. Yeah. Uh, that's a, a pattern to buy from Serda. I don't know whether it says the number or not. No, Stocky's telephone number. It's telling me everything but... No, unfortunately, it doesn't say the number of the pattern. It's uh, for Serdar Toscana, which I presume is a new yarn. Mm -hmm. That's showing a blanket, which again isn't in the book. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. It's um, Wool and the Gang's pattern. And it's in cotton, so I presume it would, you'd have to go to Wool and the Gang's site to see that. Let's have a look what's in here. In here, I should say, not in here. It's the Lancashire in me coming out, you know. Right, strawberry taffy scarf. 
A gradient cake is just perfect for this happy scarf, complete with a pom-pom trim. It's done in uh, Stylecraft candy swirl. It takes just one cake. A uh, cheesecake blanket, not quite sure why it's called a cheesecake blanket, but it's a blanket. Uh, no, it just says great texture, gorgeous colours, make this sweet blanket and eye catcher in any room. So, tiny cable stitch basket. I'm not sure how big a tiny one would be. I want to make a big one. I don't see what use a tiny one would be to me. It doesn't look as though it's tall enough, does it, to put your crochet hooks in or anything useful. I think I'm being picky today. I really don't like that. That was a handbag that's like a piece of cake. It says, hopefully this purse will fulfil all your cake cravings without the calories, just by carrying it around. It does not float my boat in the slightest. I do not wish to carry around a piece of cake as a hammer. That's called Abel's Pram Blanket. It looks very super, super thick. I just hope it's not too, you know, thick for a baby, the way I weigh it down. Um, wool culture cheeky chunky, it says here. I know it'll work up in, it says it'll work up in no time. A great way to get a quick crochet fix. I'd just be a bit worried it might be a bit heavy on the baby, I don't know. But who am I? This one's called the cupcake cowl. I really don't like that because of all the buttons fastened all around the neckline. Waste of buttons, isn't it, really? <laughs> you can tell I don't uh, get these for free, can't you? Because I, I can say what I really think about them. Chubby bunny cushion. Alison's cute and chubby bunny cushion is great to snuggle up with. Whoever said cushions can't have a bit of character. It's done in Sirdar colour wheel. Reminds me of a gonk. You're old enough to remember a gonk. I used to have a lovely gonk. He was in tartan. With a tartan hat on. I don't know ever what happened to him. Probably threw him away years ago. Pecan pie waistcoat. This smart little waistcoat is made in a neutral colour that makes it perfect to layer up with your bright spring wardrobe. Well, it might be a bright spring wardrobe if we did it in a more lively colour, right? not it? That's one colour I am not a favourite of is beige. Put my beige. Rainbow Sherbet, the unicorn. This extra large and super soft unicorn will be the perfect friend in your nursery. It's made in Lion Brand Mandala or Mandala, whichever way you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Mandala, but who am I? That's, that's advertising a, a crochet book called Crochet Essentials. like the sweater but it's probably one of those books I wouldn't like anything else in you know I'm so fed up with buying magazines and I don't like anything in them <sighs> that's why I, I, I show them to you because it saves you going to waste your money if you don't like anything in them it? Matilda the monkey she's done in Rico Designs Essential Cotton I mean, she's very cute and very lovely, but I just have no hankering to make one. If somebody made one for me, I'd love it, but you know, I just have no hankering to make one. I've still got sore ribs. 
I don't know whether it's from when I lifted that uh, box up with all the fabric in or whether it's something else. I don't know. It just feels like I've been to the gym for some reason. A perfect pot holder. That one's done in, oh, it's that world again, Shages, Sheep Jeeps, whatever it's called. Uh, Callista. Yeah, Callista. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Aaron. Do beg your pardon. It does say what it is. I don't mind doing um, washcloths and that, but I, I just draw the line at pot holders. Oh, excuse me. This is what I was like last night when I was on uh, the live. And I don't know why, because I had such a long sleep today. It was almost lunchtime when I woke up. Um, that's the scarf. The uh, Entremet scarf. Why is it called that? Entremet? Entremet? It's named for the traditional French dessert. Pick your favourite sweet treat in Karen Cakes and make this spring scarf. So Entremet it would be if it was French, wouldn't it? Entremet. they get the stripes though so even if they're using a cake yeah mine never do mine never finish at the end of a row or anything like that right home sweet home i presume this is looks like lollipops or whatever these scrumptious mini makes look almost good enough to eat and make a tasty decoration for your home So it's done in King Cole. Oh, off I go again. Sorry about making you yarn. Uh, Gaza cotton. I yarn when anybody else yarns. Even if they're on the TV or something. I yarn all the time. This one is Baby Bunny Pinny for. Um, dress your little ones for spring in this charming and soft pinny for. That's great for play. And it's done in sublime baby cashmere merino. Would you use cashmere merino for a baby to dribble its dinner down? I don't think so. More like a curly you can bung in the washer when it's left its dinner down the front. But that's just me, like I said before. Um got a whole lot in this actually. Pounds and pounds of adverts and things. Oh, Vajana's Rucksack. Presume, presume that's how you pronounce it. Oh, Vanaja. I think they said something rude, didn't they, before? Vanaja Rucksack. Can't read, obviously. It's done in double knit and four ply. Rowan Creative Linen. Don't know what the four ply bits are unless it's the bits in between. Oh, pardon me. I should have an early night tonight. I'm yawning again. I don't know how I can have an early night if it's already 10 o'clock. How to read a pattern. That could be useful for some people who can't do one. I can do most patterns unless it's got a little tiny, tiny writing and, you know, loads and oh, loads and loads of asterisks and brackets and things like that then I have to write them out again because I just can't read them on the pattern hmm, this is just telling you how to I'm going to go on again oh. sorry about this I hope I'm not making you all go sleepy I have been accused of having the kind of voice that makes people go to sleep and I hope that they meant that in a nice way <laughs> not that I was boring them to death um, in the next issue of Crochet Now is a giraffe, a cardigan and a, a scarf, well shawl, whatever you want to call it, yeah. So, oh, I've, uh, sorry about this, I'm just yawning my head off. Uh, what's this supposed to be? A lolly gift bag. What do you want to put a lolly in a gift bag for? Unless it means you could put little sweets in it or something, yeah. 
Well, that's the um, wonderful crochet now that we may appeal to you if you like doing toys. I don't. If you've been watching me long enough, you know that I don't like doing anything with faces on. I don't like nitty nitty little things where you've got to put eyeballs in them and oh. I mean, lots of people great, great deal of pleasure. I mean, Kim, um, Blue Cherub 82 and Randy. Now, I got her name right the other day, so I'm not going to attempt to say it again today. Random Randy's Ramblings, yeah. She does lots and lots of amigurumis too, and so does Lucy, Lucy Coates. But, not me. <laughs> it may be the biggest seller of my life on Etsy if I did them, but. If your heart's not in them, you know, and you make a mess of them anyway. You know, all my things I make with eyes in always have cross eyes and things like that, you know. They're just not, not good at all. Anyway, to all of you who missed my Vader. Oh, seven was it? That was the live one, yeah. So this is Vader eight, I think. I haven't looked at the calendar, so I don't really know. I think it's Vader 8. So, for all of you who've been missing Vader 7, I'm afraid it's another three-hour whatever that you may not. They're kind of not very interesting when you watch them back. Um, you have to be there, if you know what I mean. So, if you want to know what they're all about, you have to be there. <laughs> I'm not promising I'm going to do one every week because things get life gets in the way and things happen, don't they? Um, I will definitely be doing more than more than one, maybe maybe one or two a month, you know, something like that. Give everybody else a chance to put their live videos up as well if they want to. Um, I don't want to be in competition with anybody else at the same time, you know, so you're torn between two people. Um, yeah, I'm quite amenable to anybody else doing one, you know. It's just I don't want to, like you said, be in direct competition because that's defeating the object and you can't watch both of them at once, can you? So, um, I know I've sort of taken over Sean's slot <laughs> at nine o'clock on a Saturday night, but if she wants it back again, she's only got to say. And uh, I'll choose another day or whatever, yeah. Um, yeah, I've no desire to be in competition or whatever with anybody. I just want to. <laughs> do my own thing if you know what I mean so anyway like I say I've not got a lot to to tell you crochet wise or anything like that um, no idea if anybody's calling this week no idea if Sue's coming this week Sue plays it day to day she plays it by ear so if I know she's coming I'll let you know if not it will just be a nice surprise when you switch on one day and there she is yeah <laughs> I'm hoping she'll be an invader before the end of the month. <laughs> so, my two nieces have come back from Madrid. Um, they had a family holiday out there because their uncle lives in Madrid. And so they went with their mum. And they all went for like a family get together. So, she just got, let me word that she's come back. So,. She's obviously had a nice time, but she said she's very tired and her feet are hurting. That means they probably trod all around Madrid, seeing the sights and everything, which is what you want to do, isn't it, when you go somewhere you've not been to before. And, um, well, I think they have been before, but not for a while. And um, that's something, I mean, it's not my side of the family, if you know what I mean. It's my family. But so we're talking about my sister-in-law and her sister and her brother, yeah. That that's who went kind of thing with the kids so it's not like something I would have joined in with anyway because it's not my side of the family if you know what I mean I couldn't have walked around Madrid anyway if you'd have paid me you know uh, even walking around Wolfest oh by the way my tickets have come so hey! <laughs> we know we're definitely going now <laughs> well if Sue can't make it I'm definitely going by hook or by crook I'll get there so that's really all I've got to say today. It's a bit of a short video, video Vader. Um, still way behind on catching up with other people's videos. Way, way, way behind. Um, I could really do them with just sitting down 
tomorrow and just crocheting and watching videos that I've missed out on. But it's not going to happen because I didn't do any housework today, so I've got that to catch up on first. So, the sewing machine is still up. I think I told you I'm waiting for my pinking shears and my shears to arrive. Um, I'm hoping they'll arrive this week and then I can continue on with the bags. Yes, Francis, I will line the bags and I will show you one when I finished it. <laughs> I bet you're all fed up waiting for these bags. They'll be an anti-climax when I finally hold one up. Ta-da! And you'll be saying, oh, is that what we've been waiting for all this time? Huh. <laughs> I like them, but, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, is it? Yeah. So I'm just going to go now and relax a bit. Although, to be honest with you, I've relaxed enough this this afternoon, well, this morning in bed, didn't I? Not this afternoon, it wasn't quite that bad. But um, things have been happening. I've been catching up on different things and stuff. So I'm going to go now because I've remembered I haven't taken any of my tablets, any of my pills, any of my meds. When you consider I've got high blood pressure, well, do you know my teeth won't work? High blood pressure and diabetes, I think I should go and take them, don't you? I should be getting shouted at by my friend Christina. She'll be saying, why don't you talk to them? Why don't you talk to them? Because I forgot. I'm brain dead when it comes to when I'm sleepy. My brain just goes, ding, and leaves my body. Sometimes it comes back, and sometimes it comes back in an altered form. Like it's been washed. <laughs> And certain things have been washed away, yeah, spun dried and washed away. So sometimes whatever, you know, happens recently has just gone from my head. So if you ask me something or you tell me something and I don't answer it, it's probably because it's gone, ooh, and been washed out of my head. I know people have asked me certain things, yeah. And for the people who ask me why won't I do tutorials is... I don't have the equipment and I don't have the wherewithal to buy a, a new camera that focuses brilliantly because this camera goes out of focus a lot of the time, especially when I'm taking photographs with it. B, in order to do a tutorial, you can't just pluck a pattern out of the air or whatever and do the pattern as a tutorial. You have to write and you have to ask permission of the person who made the pattern. Yeah. And the third one, the most important one, is I don't want to do them. <laughs> I have no desire to make a tutorial. I wouldn't be any good at it, if you know what I mean. It would take me hours and hours and hours to do one, you know. And I just wouldn't be any good at it, because I don't do well under pressure, you know, with my hands showing, and you know, I have to have the camera overhead and all that jazz. So you're never going to see a tutorial from me, I'm very sorry. So the people who want a tutorial from me, no, but there are several, well, hundreds, thousands of absolutely marvellous videos on YouTube that have covered most things. I watch them all the time and I think, gosh, haven't they got a lot of patience to do these? I mean, sometimes when they do tutorials, they're making two, three garments are all the same because they're showing you different parts of it as they're going along. They show you the finished one before they start, don't they? And then they start doing another one in a different colour and then they jump to something else to show you something else and you're thinking, they have so much patience, which I don't have. I really do not have that kind of patience. Maybe if I was younger or maybe if I designed my own patterns and I wanted to promote them, but even then, if I was to do a tutorial, then nobody would buy the paper pattern, would they? You know what I'm saying? So everything would be free, free and more free. And, you know, I'm trying to make this a bit of a part-time business to give me some extra money. And so with that, I just crochet and hopefully somebody will buy them. <laughs> It's all a matter of trial and error, isn't it? I would probably do better if I did like little toy things, which I don't do. And then I could go and do craft shows and then people buy little thingy jigs. They don't go to craft shows to buy anything big, like a, a garment or anything like that. They just don't. 
they go with about £10 spare in their pocket, you know, that they want to buy something little with. They don't go with a wherewithal to buy a cardigan or anything like that. And in any case, I don't have a car anymore. And I'm not going to put up on people to take me places all the time and help me set up the stall. And usually what happens is by the time I've paid the price of the stall, you have to make a lot of money to cover the cost of the stall and to make a profit because the first so many things that you sell goes to paying for the stall. So in other words, you've donated them, haven't you? You know, you've <laughs> you can come home selling a load of things and you come home and you've not even got a penny for yourself because you've not broken even because you paid whatever it is for the stall. So I just got a little bit disheartened. That's why I don't do them anymore. I would like to do one now and again if I could make smaller items that would sell. Or hopefully it would sell you. It's all very hit and miss. You speak to anybody who does a craft show and they'll tell you the same thing. It's all very hit and miss. If you're lucky and you've got the right things that people want to buy, then you sell quite a lot of stuff. But if you've got the wrong things and people don't want to buy them on that day, then you come home out of pocket. And you've put yourself out with all the transport, getting people to take you there, set up the stall. I'm too lazy. I've decided. <laughs> I've just taught myself right out of it now. I'm just too lazy. Yeah. What I want is a little corner in some craft shop, just like just display my things. Without having to be there, of course. <laughs> I want the world on a plate. That's what I want. And having said that, I'm now going to go. I'm going to make myself a drink. I'm going to settle down and try to do a little bit of crochet. So hopefully tomorrow I might have something to show you, even if it's just to finish off the, um, the shrug thing I'm making for myself. Because while I was chatting last night live, I didn't do anything. Um, because when you're trying to do something big and you're in front of the camera and you're like heaving it about, you know, <laughs> you disappear, don't you, matter how you go around it. So I just didn't do any crocheting while I was talking. So after saying I'm going to go for about the 14th time, I really am going to go now. So thank you for everybody who did join me live. And I will do another one, although I can't promise it'll be this coming Saturday. It might be the Saturday after that, depending on how I feel. I don't want to get to the stage where I'm bored with making them. You know what I'm saying? I want to feel fresh and lively and want to do them. So finally, I'm making my way now to the camera to turn myself off. So bye-bye. Enjoy your rest of your day. Bye now.